Hey man, so just reviewing some things and checking over the, the foundation and the history of all uh, these videos I didn't drop on this journey, right? Now, to most of y'all, it might seem a lot of this stuff seems a little far fetched. To some, y'all understand. To a lot, y'all probably don't know what the hell going on. But like I said, a lot of this stuff, it seems, it's always painted to seem like the one who's calling or blowing the whistle seems like they're crazy or seem to be absurd or something that is vindictive, mean, hateful, whatever have you, right? But that's furthest from the case because this is how these beings operate. A lot of these beings are narcissists and they're proud to admit to it when they're amongst their peer group. A lot of these beings praise the devil and they do it proudly. They, they do a lot of evil stuff, man. So when people come in and just catch the, the gist of the conversation or the, the, the back end of something, they never see the full frontal of everything that's going on unless you're going through it or unless you know of it. Or so forth and so forth, right? So to clear up some things, like, and don't get me wrong, I do get things wrong. I do get things, sometimes I do miss the mark of things and the situation of things because God is trying to show me something. And sometimes I might be a little too hasty. Sometimes I'm a little too late. But a lot of times I'm in the right field. It's just I might not get the accurate point just yet. And sometimes it takes a little time before you, Discover what the hell is going on. Now, like I said, man, to say all that, to say this. A lot of stuff that goes on. Like this guy keeps riding around on this freaking uh, scooter with the Oh, Lord, have mercy. A lot of stuff going on, guys. It has to deal with being Wiccans, Warlocks, Witches, Masons, up and so forth, so forth, so forth. If you're the opposite side, you putting out light and all that energy, speaking truth. They hate you. They don't like it. They depict it all in all these movies that you see. It's all in the Bible. It's in the Word. They like to play Word games. They like to stalk you, watch you, see you do miracles, make things happen. They're amazed at it. They want to, they want to be, they want your gift. Just to put it simply, like a lot of them, like, um, You know, how do you get somebody's gift by like feeding upon them? You want to take their abilities. Like in the movie Get Out, he said he wanted his eyes. He liked the way he see things. So he wanted to transfer his consciousness to his consciousness. Being a thief, stealing something. And I just topped this one up. That's weird. But yeah, man. So. All that going on, man, it's just a trip, man. You just, it's a trip. Steady your course. Get deep into the word. Keep learning and growing and keep flowing, man. Just never lose sight, man. Because it's been a beautiful, blessed day. I, ain't, I can't tell you, no lie. Lie knows. It's been a great day. You know, I didn't enjoy myself. I just spoke with some people. Spoke with people I don't even know. I mean, truth be told, people didn't approach me. Just me being who I am in the presence, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's just glorious, man. And it's all because of God. Now, we ain't honoring nothing else but God because this is what people want. They want us to turn ourselves into gods and praise the creation instead of the creator. A lot of them are trying to be like how Satan depicted. We can all be gods and be in control of everything. And that's furthest from the case. We are not. We are children of God. And there's one true king. And that is God. So if we ain't in line with that, man, we tripping. We slipping. I ain't praising no planets. I ain't praising no stars. No, none of that. That's what God was talking about. He created all the planets. Who was he talking? And you know what? He was, he was talking to the Romans. and all. He said, I created all the planets. You praising Saturn and all these other, who you think you talking to? I created all these fools. Like, man. But like I said, some of the stuff, you know, 
I might not get it exactly on point, but hey, I'm still growing. I'm still learning. Now you have to forgive me and mind you, this is not a easy web to just untangle. A lot of it's very intricate. You got to keep diving deep and keep figuring out information because they ain't giving it out for free. Ain't nobody giving no information out unless you're a part of the organization. So you got to go research this stuff and put this stuff together. And stay in that word to understand a lot of this stuff and, and, and match it up. Man, y'all better understand. Like, man, like if y'all don't understand that God really sends messages and, and, and there are frequencies like light, light travels and energy and all that stuff, man. Like, bro, you can see stuff in the sky. Man, come on, man. Better get it right. Why do you think they poison the water? They tell you they're doing it. They put fluoride in the water. They want you blind. They want you stupid. They don't want you to see. It's a lot of stuff. And the people who promote this stuff and try to or, or turn their eyes or put um, have blinded themselves are the people who don't want to come and do the right stuff. They just want to turn a blind eye like, OK, well, I'm winning over here. I got me a stable good job. I, I don't want to lose that. I got me a stable thing going. I got job security. They hate me at my job, but they like that I hate them too. <laughs> I, I think that's the real. Hey, bro, I, this is this. Look, listen, look. and I've learned this out here. People like that you hate them. They enjoy it. They like, okay, you hate me, I hate you too, so we can get along. If you're not around cussing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Trying to go, oh, hey, bro, let's go find these hoes. Let's, let's get up on these hoes, bro. Let's go get some drink, man. Let's go smoking and doing all that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Real childish, demeaning, uh, non-fruitful activities. Bro, they, man, you, you got to go. Even, like, bro, that's how I noticed. Because they know the ones who got it. Because, like, bro. Even the ones who are not living right don't realize their greater purpose, right? You still catch flack because they be like, oh, boy, he different. He ain't, he ain't like us. He He's using this or she's using this. They think too much. They trying to figure out stuff too much. Why are you always trying to figure out something? Like, if this ain't adding up, I, I'm posted. Like, some, something's not right. Hold on. Something ain't sitting right with me. Help me to understand. That's what you're supposed to do. But yeah. This is the world we live in, and they don't want you to be thinking. They just want you to be led by uh, stupidity. I'm led by God, and that is the author of wisdom. <laughs> I, I, my God created wisdom. So, Enough said, man. Why do you think Jesus Christ had so much game? I'm talking about at home had more game than a little bit. And I know women were following behind him like, oh, man, this man got it. He got a clear. And he ain't out here lusting after us or a horror monk. He got it. Come on, man. They knew Christ was something special. The way he could captivate people. And, and you know what? He was not only dueling with words. He was handling people that he knew they were there to kill him and, and, and report back, spy on them. And he was handling them like there was nothing. But, all right. And then hitting them with incredible parables and riddles. And think. How do you get to the answer to this? Think. Look at these over here, man. Think. Man, come on, man. It's a whole beautiful thing, but I'm going to leave y'all with that, man. Y'all have a beautiful and blessed one. Just to clear up some stuff, I know I have a lot of scrutiny and uh, backlash from some of the videos and things I've dropped. But like I said, on this journey, I'm still learning, growing. And I want to clarify because, you know, some of the information I might have put out was not 100% accurate. Far as I'm saying is the way of me wording it or putting it down, it, it might not have been accurate. And you have to forgive me for that. Now, the research and the information that I laid out, trust me, it is connected to something.
that is dealing with all the information that I laid out. So if I didn't word something correctly or say something accurately, 100% sure, forgive me. I ask for forgiveness for that. And Lord, moving forward, we're going to make sure we get it all the way 100% right. Like I said, man, I'm just catching the spills and I'm just trying to put it out so everybody can learn and grow. Yeah. But far for the most part, man, everything on point. So. And I'm going to leave y'all with that, man. Y'all have a blessed night.